Yes, welcome back. So now we will see the program for counting the number of ones and zeros in a given number. Okay, so first what we do is we take a number and store it in a register. So let us consider that is an AL register. Now take two counters, one for counting zeros and one for counting number of ones. Okay. Now, the data that is stored in AL register, rotate it either left hand side or right hand side. Okay, so for our program, we will take it as right hand side all along the carry bit by bit, bit by bit in the sense uh, one one shift. Okay, so once you shift it. Okay, the LSB bit is going to be going to the carry bit, carry flag. Okay, so if the carry is found to be one, right? Increment counter number two. Okay, if there is no carry, increment counter number one. Okay, so this process we have to do until all the bits in our AL register is been finished so for this we need to use one more counter and defaultly that counter we can use it as a cx register okay so this we can analyze with a simple program okay so this program is written for 8 bit number okay it means eight rotations we are going to perform and that eight rotations we are going to store in for every one rotation or for every one shift, we are going to increment either BL or CL depending upon the status of the carry flag. Okay, so now the program goes like this. So first we are defining the data segment. In data segment, we are reserving one byte for storing the data. Okay, and one more byte for storing number of ones and one more byte storing the number of zeros. Okay, so here, DUP represents duplication of the memory location. Okay, so how many memory locations we are going to duplicate? We are going to duplicate only one of size byte, one byte. Okay, next we are going to start our code segment. We are going to initialize, we are going to define a starting address, and then we are going to initialize our data segment into your code segment. Then uh, this CX08. So this represents the type of data what we are going to take. If you are taking an 8-bit data, we have to represent the count should be 8 shiftings. So here we are refer referring it as 08. If we are taking a 16-bit number, then we have to refer this as 10H. Okay. 10H is nothing but your 16 in decimal. Okay. So this is how We'll do the modification, right? Next, uh, move AL comma N. So whatever the data we are going to give during the runtime, so that data it will be, AL will be stored. AL will be stored with that data. Then we are initializing our BL and DL with zero zero. Okay. Then do the shifting operation. So first for the first shift, okay, when AL is shifted by one factor towards the right hand side the LSB bit will be moved to carry, okay? And if that carry is one, okay? So the counter which is counting number of one should be incremented. So the counter which we have specified here is DL register. So DL will be incremented by one. If carry is not existing, BL will be incremented and then we are going for the location called next, short jump. So next, what it is specifies here, loop back. So whenever loop is there, defaultly the contents of CX will be decremented by one and it will go to the specified address. Okay, so now CX value earlier it was 08. Now one shifting is done. Now it will be 07. It will be, now it will go back to this position. Again, one more shift is done and it carries existing DL will be incremented. If carry is not existing, BL will be incremented. 
So like this, eight times this loop is going to execute. So by the time series becomes zero, we are going to come out of the loop. Okay, and DL will have the number of ones and BL will have the number of zeros. So this two, we are going to move to the corresponding memory locations and we are going to end the program by using int 03h or you can make use of uh, move ah gamma 4ch int 21h okay so now we'll see the implementation of the program okay so first we have to mount it is 8086 so I don't remember the program name so I'll try to open the draws prompt okay so I maximize it AF fun so I think there is uh, P23 yeah so P23 this is our program okay so now see here Nothing has changed except here AH for CH. So I get the program, save. Okay. Save the program. Read it. You know. Then debug the program. Mazen. P23 dot ASM. So object file is created. A list uh, error list is created. And cross reference is created, file is created. And next, link the program p23.obj. Now we got it. So now debug the program p23.exe. And assemble the program. So I hope it is 1000H. So now see. So this is our program. Okay. So now the data segment has been changed. So D, answer than A2. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, so earlier data was 20. Now let us see how many ones will be there and how many zeros will be there. In 20H, two ones will be there. Two ones or one ones? I think only one ones will be there. One one will be there and seven zeros will be there. So G is equal to A thousand H. Okay, so now see we have not seen the register. Okay, so we have to check the data A two zero zero zero. Okay, we have to see the data. Okay, so now let us see the data. Let us see what is the segment of the entire program. Let's see what data segment is that. the program then go for debugging so unless symbol thousand yeah so here it is d17 a2 a9008 so this is the default data a0 so now we try to execute it right now it is executed so now we have to check this D. 
Instead of this, I use ing twenty one hand cause use ing twenty one hand and the zero three H R V. So if we are using ing twenty one H, it is used to handle all the registers. So I go with the same process. Give this for the hedge. So now see our registers are being updated. So how many ones will be there in three zero, two ones, and six zeros? So check your DX register. So DX register will be zero two. Okay, that represents zero uh, of ones, and zero six represents DX, that which represents number of zeros. Okay, now we'll give a new another number. Try to define another number. Say two, one, double, triple zero. Say I'm giving FF. Okay, so it should be eight ones. So three, two, double, right. See so here. DX is 08. Okay, so if you want to check the data space also, so see 08, number of ones is 08. Okay, our number is FF, our number, number of one, in this number of ones are 8. So we give another number 782 00, so four zeros, I'll give. Is on four five e equal to thousand. So in this four five, number of ones are three and number of zeros are five. So we can display the memory D here. So this is how we can execute this program. Uh, so you can for 16 bit number also you can try so let us try for 16 bit number the same program okay so what is that uh, p23 right first p23 so i'll give dw okay and instead of CX is one zero I one zero H. Okay, so one zero H represents your sixteen DX DX. Okay. BL register you can take right. Anything else? No. So AL has to be instead of AL, you can put AX. Yes. Fine. Save. Exit. Then do the same process. As of the program. Then link the program. Then go for debug. So I'm assemble 2000. Sorry, I'm going to sum up thousand. That's all right, right? So D space one seven eight two. 
So here, this is the default data that is being there. Okay, so we can edit the data to zero. Okay, so it is a 16 bit number. So first, the lower byte has to be included 78 lower byte, higher byte is say some one two. So my num our number is one two seven eight. So g equal to some thousand, not some thousand. So it's a starting with this. Now see, in this one two seven eight, there are six ones. Okay, and ten zeros. Okay. So now if you want to see this D one seven A two zero double zero. Now see. Okay, so this is how we can do our number of ones, counting number of ones and number of zeros by using the logical instructions. So what are the logical instructions we are using? SH R. Okay. Oh.